It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Brendan the Evil Superman. You hypnotize our creation. Deep down, you don't want to see us make it. Deep down, you'd rather see us in the basement. Hey, it's so biased and I'm out here. So I thought I'd redo my review of the movie Brightburn because apparently I didn't explain it well enough the first time. So second time's a charm. Let's get it. So the movie starts off with a couple. They find a kid in the woods. They bring him into their family as their own. However, as the kid gets older, his attitude gets worse. His problems start in school where it's revealed to him then that he's adopted, but his parents don't tell him that he's from space. So his problems start getting worse in school as a girl makes a comment to him that he doesn't like and he takes the opportunity there to break her hand. And that's when he was appointed a guidance counselor. Because this guidance counselor finds him not remorseful of his actions, she was about to snitch on him, so he followed her home. And his uncle finds out, tries to drive him home, and that's when the best scene in the whole film happened. He picked up the car that his uncle was sitting in, dropped it, and his uncle's jaw hit the, what was that? Was that the steering wheel? It hit the steering wheel and his jaw separated from the rest of his face. It was disgusting. It was hard to watch. Really well done. Very authentic looking. Best scene in the film. After that, his parents find out and they try to stop him, but they meet their demise too. This movie was essentially the story of Superman just reversed. Superman was sent to Earth to save the Earth and do good, but this child was not. The spaceship was telling him to take over the Earth and destroy the Earth, and he was wilding out because of that spaceship. It kind of reminded me of Dragon Ball, how Goku, he was sent to Earth by the Saiyans to conquer Earth as a child. Same thing in this film, but Goku, he ended up turning good after he got a nice knock to the head or he fell and hit his head or something like that, right? Maybe he needed, this kid needed a nice hit to the head, but when his pop shot him and it didn't do nothing but piss him off more, that's when I knew it was cracking. He didn't even hesitate to crash that plane full of people into his house to cover up. That's how you know if they make a sequel is going down. I'm gonna go ahead and give it three mics. The only thing I was missing it was action. It needed more action. You know, it was gruesome. Definitely had some gory scenes in there. You can tell the director was a fan of Saw. It never explained to us where the kid came from. He has to be from Krypton because he has similar abilities to Superman, such as the eye beams. He can fly. He got super strength and he can't get injured. I hope they make a sequel. They better make a sequel because this one was just kind of like an intro, I feel like, leading into something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a start to a series of movies. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, especially if y'all are new to the channel. Join the fam. I got some new videos coming soon. And I will get up with y'all in the next video, all right? All right, man. You hypnotize our creation. Deep down, you don't want to see us make it. Deep down, you'd rather see us in the basement.